Along with Europe's Premier Cup this weekend, we also had the three other regions play, which is APAC North, Sub-Saharan Africa, and then South America. Some interesting stuff, good and kind of bad happened throughout all three regions let's take a dive into those real quick so starting in apac north because it was the first region to finish before europe the first one take a look at the groups i'd say everything here normal shire gain they don't seem like a groups team but you'll see them be them be lower bracket boys okay they're like four kidden lower bracket boys parabellum is former hilltop picnic if you guys remember them doomsy is now stepped into the sub role and a new starter is there now but everything else looks pretty normal here. And then we take a look at the playoff brackets here and pretty normal stuff. Shower Gain making lower bracket run, Parabellum getting eliminated by Detonator, Tokyo Verde exacting their revenge against Nymt, and then Detonator actually beating Nymt in a best of seven. Good for them, they made it to the grand final. They obviously get swept by Tokyo Verde at the end there. Not close really at all. Um, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but 9-0, 4-0, 4-0, 4-0. Tokyo Verde did not lose a single game this regional. They outscored their opponents 66 to 22. They averaged 3.14 goals per game and they only allowed 1.04. They were dominant after losing the regional one. They are definitely odds on favorites to win this region again. Nymph, you had a good run. You needed to punch him in the face this time again. Didn't happen. Tokyo Verde back on top. Now heading into SSA, Sub-Saharan Africa, before we get into the groups, something very unfortunate happened on Championship Sunday. Apparently Jack and I, I think another streamer raided them at the same time and they were sitting at like 12k viewers on their channel. Crazy exposure for the region and then Twitch banned the account because they thought something was viewbotting. I'm pretty sure it's like Uni Rocket League or something like that, like the Twitch channel like that is where they picked up the broadcast again. But very unfortunate for SSA, but looking at groups, Pirates, Bravado, ATK, DNMK, all, all appropriate there. And then looking at the, the playoff bracket, Royalty Esports going another lower bracket run just like they did in the last time. Losing to Bravado in the lower semifinals, so they get a top four there. So back-to-back -back top fours for them. Um, Pirates reclaim their region. They take down ATK, who took down bravado in the lower bracket final closer games a very high scoring region so not a lot of defense being developed yet but it's getting there overall yeah pirates definitely still far and away the best team in this region with bravado and atk behind them and then royalty esports behind them i'd say like in that fourth spot taking a look there at where the placements were so congratulations to pirates back on top Heading to South America, nothing really noteworthy here aside in groups where Dream Conspiracy and Elevate both lose out. They bottom out in their group. Dream Conspiracy has been like a top six to eight range mostly. And then Elevate actually took second and fourth um, in regional two and then regional three respectively in the fall split. So seeing them out here is tough for them. They are typically a contender for that top six, maybe top four range. But then we head down into the playoff bracket here. And we have Ruby making the run of their lives here through that lower bracket, if you can't tell. Era Eternity getting the revenge against Crew from last week. Noble still contending for that top spot. They won the first regional. What the fuck happened? But Furia, they're back like they never left. They are still in third right now in the rankings. If we go take a look there, but we'll go over this really fast for the grand final. Crazy eight minute overtime there in game four to prevent the sweep from noble but yeah furia looked dominant in this in this uh in this event for sure they swept noble in the previous upper bracket final so really really good to see them back so let's take a look at the rankings for sam really fast just because their region is slightly closer so sam furia they jumped four spots but they're still behind era they don't win their group in the third regional just kind of like how they did in the first one they're looking it's, it's an outside shot at them making it um but i'd say crew furia era and noble any four of those teams depending on how they place can all go um my bet would be noble and furia i with how they've looked i think furia can outplace era by one spot here to take take them over but anything goes in sam it's cra it's a crazy region there's so many things like ruby jumped up nine spots like 
couple teams, you know, just cr teams just dropping, falling like crazy. But that's been the minor region recap for this past weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be uploading some different content this week because of no RLCS this weekend. Taking a break for the Super Bowl or Valentine's Day or something. So you guys voted on the poll for that. So some of those videos will be coming soon. See you in the next one. Peace.